How we doing today people? This video will be about what's behind the fog gate next to the stranded graveyard, how to disable stone chariot easily, and most importantly what the quickest way to open the fog gate is. To begin with, you'll need a bow of some description and arrows to disable stone chariots. So, make sure you grab them either from the merchant near the coastal cove or from the twin mains in round table hold. The key, or keys in this case, to open the fog gate is this stone imp statue. You'll find these dotted all over the world yutting various things. They can require one to two stone sword keys in this case this one needs two you can actually choose two stone sword keys as a starting gift and character creation it's completely possible you won't need to go adventuring further than the first side of grace to enter the fringe folk hero's grave the next step we are going to do is find two stone sword keys luckily they are somewhat close to you when you walk out of strata graves from the first step side of grace you want to head in a roughly eastern direction down a few ledges heading towards a wading pool of a lake this is agil lake and if you venture too far in, you'll spark the ire of a dragon. You'll spot some ruins. Head towards these. On approach, you'll see a still standing archway with a semi-collapsed tower holding it up. Head through the archway and turn to the right, facing back west. Inside the semi-collapsed tower will be our first stone sword key. That easy. The next one isn't super duper far away, but you probably want to have Torrent in the interest of time. So link in the description on how to grab Torrent as well as the other important early game tools. We're heading to Sacrifice Bridge which connects Limgrave with the Weeping Peninsula. From the Dragonburnt Ruins, where we grabbed our first stone sword key, look to the southeast and generally follow the cliff to your right. Pass some bats and a group of soldiers battling demi-humans, aiming towards a chunk of a building on a cliff top. You'll come to a road. Follow this right in between two cliffs, follow it down, and you will see a bridge. Heavily guarded, but it is easily dodged through and around. Sitting behind the ballista will be our second stone sword key. Not too bad, right? Back to the stranded graveyard side of Grace. Walk up to the stone imp statue and insert your keys. Fog gate be gone. Down below will be poison. If you go complete naked, you will be poisoned. Avoid this and equip just about any set or not. I'm not your fucking dad. If you roll on the poison, you'll be covered in it and we'll continue to gain poison status. Avoid this as well. At the far end and to the right will be a plateau and a ramp. Give it a few seconds and you'll meet your potentially favorite person ever, the stone chariot. He makes his area a living hell, but can be handled pretty well and also to be disabled. Your goal of this area is to reach the bottom where a boss and excellent rewards wait. However, there is a hidden side area where you can disable the glorified trap that is the stone chariot, making the inevitable run backs and exploration a breeze. As the chariot turns to go back down the ramp, follow as close behind as possible, count one and then two open doorways to the left side and run into it. An enemy will spawn, kill it or dodge past the chariot on its way back up. Down one open doorway to the right this time will be another enemy, plus one that spawns opposite you. Deal with the closer one and wait for the chariot to touch the bottom again before jumping down behind your side's enemy. Immediately turn right and head towards a bridge type area, but look down to the left side of its starting corner. Down will be a ledge you should be able to roll onto. Now, here's where it gets tricky. Directly in front of you will be two stone imp enemies. They may cause you some issues, but aren't a hugely difficult encounter, even from a brand new character standpoint. Dispatch them and proceed with caution. Further into the hall, it will reach some stairs. Edge down them until you trigger the fire trap. Retreat up and then find the rhythm and timing to run in between the blasts of fire to the right. Another imp will await you. Deal with him carefully. Run past the fire to the fire pillar trap. Walk past this down to more stairs and a room. This room is a trap, but the arm across the way is well worth getting in a suicide run. I say suicide run because far above you are two grafted zions who will trap you on the bridge if you venture across. They really aren't worth killing, so just suicide it. Approach the edge of the ledge and drop down once and then twice. In the left corner will be a doorway and a staircase heading up to a lift. Exit the lift to some stairs, but be prepared. Your immediate left will be a fairly tough variant of the enemies from the ramp. Execute him, equip a bow and go to where he was standing. Look west and up. You will see three massive pots dangling above the now pacing stone chariot below. I'm your bow and arrows, timing a shot to hit the chariot with a pot, and voila! You'll be rewarded with a great bow and the ability to fully explore the grave unabated. It will not respawn. The boss below is tough, but very worth taking him out. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you learned something. Chuck me a sub or check me out on Twitch. Link in the description.